This older standard definition video footage has recently been remastered to significantly improve its visual fidelity. Take a look at this short clip and then head over to our streaming channel at www.historicalmachines.tv to check out the full thing. Able to spend up to 12 hours in the air at a time, the aircraft had an extremely long range and Catalina crews would often cover hundreds of miles of open sea. Initially used as maritime patrol bombers during the Pacific campaign, the New Zealand crews never made contact with any enemy ships or submarines and so had little success in the role. But today, this vigilant Catalina crew has had more luck as it spots an enemy submarine trying to sneak away. Unfortunately for the Japanese crew, a well-placed depth charge does some serious damage to their sub, and their only option is to evacuate and swim for it. Later, the Kiwi Catalinas were moved into the air sea rescue role, where they excelled. RNZAF crews successfully performed many Dumbo missions to pick up fighter pilots and bomber crews who had ditched into the vast Pacific Ocean. The US Navy, on the other hand, had more success using the Catalina as an offensive weapon. They painted the hull and wings of many of their Catalinas black and used the aircraft primarily at night. These black hats flew standard bombing missions under cover of darkness and also flew night patrols to deny the Japanese the ability to move troops and ships unseen. Join us on our full advert free streaming service at historicalmachines.tv, where you'll find lots more great footage just like this, all for less than the cost of a cup of coffee per month.